All right, so today we're gonna do some red snapper, fried red snapper. What I got here is probably about two pounds of red snapper that's fresh. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season it up, batter it up and get it in the pan to fry. All right, so these pieces, they're a little bit bigger than what I, I like mine to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by slicing them uh, down, get to good size pieces. So we got some good sized pieces there. I'm going to the skillet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get them towel dried and um, get them seasoned up and ready to go. Okay, so I got my fish towel dried and everything. So the ingredients we're gonna use, the seasonings we're gonna use is kosher salt, pepper, Tony's Creole seasoning, garlic powder, paprika, lemon pepper, and parsley. I'm also gonna show you how to make your own meal today so you don't need to buy that stuff in a bag. I'm gonna show you how to do it real simply and good. So let's get started. So let's start off getting these bad babies seasoned up. And also before you get started, what you wanna do is heat up a, a skillet with um, some vegetable oil uh, on about 350. Let that get hot in the process. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. We only gonna salt one side because we're gonna use all the other seasons on the other side. Pepper. You don't really have to use black pepper because you're using lemon pepper, but I like black pepper, so I'll put that on there. Some Tony's. Some garlic powder. Some lemon pepper. All right, so we're gonna save the parsley and the paprika for our um, for our batter. And we're gonna turn it over. Repeat the same things without the the kosher salt on this side. All right, more garlic powder. lemon pepper. Then what we're gonna do is after we finish this, we're gonna let this sit for about maybe five, 10 minutes. Let these seasoning soak in and we're gonna prepare the, uh, our own meal. All right, so we're gonna make our own meal for fish fry right here. So what I got is six serving spoons of uh, cornmeal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go five serving spoons of flour. We're gonna go four and a half serving spoons of flour, okay? So we got one, two, three, four, and let's go with a half. And we're gonna see how, we're gonna eyeball that see how it looks and see um you know if we need to add a little bit more flour okay so now that we got those two in there what we're gonna go with we're gonna go with some garlic powder all right we're gonna put a good amount of that in there you're gonna put some lemon pepper because we want our food to be 
flavorful throughout, okay? So then you wanna put some paprika in there. All right, kinda of give it that little good look before you get ready to eat it. You wanna definitely take some parsley and put it in there. Creole seasoning in there. All right, so here's what we got so far. We're gonna just mix that in. All right, so let's add us a little bit more paprika in there. So that means you're gonna be gonna put about two two teaspoons of paprika. All right, I'll have the exact measurements for you guys in the description box. All right, so that looks good right there. That looks good. It looks like it's gonna be some some good fish right there. Okay, so that's that's the homemade batter. You don't have to buy that bag and all that stuff. This can all be done in a matter of maybe two minutes, okay? So you got some flour, some corn, corn flour, yellow cornmeal, garlic powder, lemon pepper, Creole seasoning, paprika, and parsley, and there it is right there, all right? So that's the, that's the um, homemade batter. All right, so what we do, we take our seasoned fish, Okay, so we're gonna take our seasoned fish, we're gonna dip them into a mixture of two eggs, a couple splashes of hot sauce, a drop of milk, garlic powder, a little bit of lemon pepper, that's it. All mixed up, and that's our wet ingredient, so we're gonna dip that, dip it in our batter right here. All right, we're gonna get it well coated. All right, so this season has sat in there for 15 minutes while it's, you know, the fish sat out. So the season is gonna be well into this piece of fish, these pieces of fish, all right? We're gonna do another one, we're gonna dip it in there. So I'm gonna get this breaded, and then I'm gonna meet you guys back at the skillet so we can get it in there. All right, so I did drop my fish into the cast iron, and I forgot to press record before I put it in there, before I know what I was finding. But I got a couple more pieces I'm going to show you guys from start to finish to uh, to go on ahead and add to your skillet. All right, so I'm just kind of checking these. These have been cooking for about maybe three to four minutes. I like mine a little bit crispy. I don't like soggy fish. I like my fish a little bit crispy. You can kind of just look at the bottom of them. Kind of see how they look. If they kind of got the little golden brown look, go ahead and turn them over. I'm going to let mine go about another minute and a half before I flip them over. All right, so that minute and a half has gone by, so I'm going to go ahead and turn mine over. You see that golden brown look? That's the look you want to have. You, see that? you can see the parsley in the batter. All right, so you know these are going to be good, 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 good. <clears throat> these, red, these red snapper... Pieces like this, this will go good with some fries. You can also have your soul food meal with like some collard greens and some mashed potatoes and some cornbread muffins and some candy yams and, you know, or some macaroni and cheese. Red snapper goes good with all that good stuff. Some, some uh, cabbage, whatever you can imagine. Soul food, or you can just go regular fish fry. Get you some french fries and some hush puppies. Either way, you got some good eating. So I'm gonna let these go for about another about, let's say four to five minutes on this other side and then pull them right out and then I'll show you guys as I add the next batch into it.
right, so there it is. There's that, there's that uh, red snapper in that um, <coughs> shrimp. That's the finished product. So what we're gonna need afterwards is some of this cocktail sauce. You can get it by whatever brand you like. Shrimp ain't, ain't good without cocktail sauce. Just used some of this the other day. All right, so we got the cocktail sauce for the shrimp. Then we got that red rooster for the for the fish. All right, so we're gonna go in for a taste on these. Mmm. The shrimp is. We do it all the time. And that red snapper. Mm -hmm. There it is. Like, share, and subscribe to our video if you like it. We'll see you next time.